GTA 5 comparisons, Last of Us Remastered, and we compare exclusivity and more from E3. Up now on the Weekly Roundup, sponsored by Black Gold Online. Hey everyone, it's Andrew here. A comparison from last gen and next gen graphics for GTA 5 have surfaced, showing off the differences we can expect to see later this fall. And overall, it looks like we're gonna be seeing some major improvements, including draw distance, lighting, level detail, and screen density. It's kind of amazing to see the differences between these versions. If you look at Watch Dogs comparisons between current and last generation consoles, they are no way near as differentiated like GTAs are. If you hadn't heard, The Last of Us Remastered has received a release date of July 29th, and Naughty Dog has reported that they are working very hard to get the game to run over 60 frames per second. They also reported that they are fixing any performance bugs, hoping to optimize for the ultimate Last of Us experience. Will you be picking up the remastered edition? Let me know in the comments. Numbers and charts have surfaced from last week's E3 conference, showing the differences between the three major console makers. Microsoft showed off 39 games during their conference, Sony 42 and Nintendo with 12. Among the games, Microsoft talked about or showed the most footage of their titles. Meanwhile, 50% of the games Sony showed were shooters, a bit different from what we're used to seeing from Sony. Nintendo showed 100% exclusive titles, while Sony only had 36% and Microsoft with 26%. Keep in mind the last two showed almost four times the games as Nintendo though. If you want to see these charts for yourself, we'll link you up in the description, and then you can leave me a comment on who you think did a good job at E3 this year. This week's roundup is brought to you by Black Gold Online, which is a steampunk and fantasy-fused MMORPG from Snail Games. In a race for superiority across the continent of Montel, two factions struggle for control of a powerful crystallite energy resource known as Black Gold. The steam-powered mechanical kingdom of Eisenhorst exploits Black Gold as a source of fuel to magnify their military expansion. The mystical Eastern Union worships the sacred material and uses Black Gold as a source of their elemental powers. Be sure to check out Black Gold in open beta today. That's going to be it for this week's roundup. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new to the Curse channel. And until next time, enjoy the game.